Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. It says I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Libra, time to do your bonus love reading for you and the one on your mind for when you clicked on this reading, Mercury Retrograde Edition, for the later half of April 2023 and see exactly what might be going on between the two of you guys. As we go into this Mercury Retrograde and the new moon eclipse, it is a time that all 7 billion of us are reflecting back on things, looking at what we did wrong, what we did right, and trying to make a decision where to go. So as a little bonus for y'all, we're going to take a peek at it and see exactly what they might be thinking about, what you are going to be thinking about, and what's affecting you as we start into Taurus season. The sun's going to go into Taurus. Um, Mercury's in Taurus. There's a lot of Taurian stuff going on. And then you've got a full moon eclipse in Scorpio at the beginning of May, right? So we're leading into that. So as we start to settle down from everything that happened through the new moon solar eclipse, that's when the preamble for the full moon solar eclipse come in. And it's in Aries. So all this self-reflection that we've been talking about in correction then comes into new action. You know, Pluto, death card, rebirth. Oh, hey, Pluto, NASA called. You're a planet again. Woo, yay, rebirth. Oh, sorry, NASA called back. You're not a planet anymore. Huh, death card. So it's it's like it's actually an energy that hasn't happened in like 245 years. So back to like the French American Revolution. So time to break free and check it out. Okay. We will use the beautiful Baba Boy deck for our base cards on you both and the Titanic deck since it is still technically April. And we'll take using that for some clarifiers. Okay. So let's do it to it. I think we're ready. We're starting to jam here. So maybe even a little bit of that stress that you've been feeling. As we've gone through this uh, retrograde start and the eclipses that kind of like binds your thoughts up in your head a little bit so let's take a peek all right we are open to the messages we're about to receive for libra so long as they are for libra's highest and greatest good i did not stutter eight of wands to a two of wands sagittarius energy a choice for communication and at a fork in the road about a decision with the two of swords two two could be an angel number or a sign that is significant to you all right here we go Two shuffles, speaking of two, 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 four Libra. Here we go. One. And ooh, get those things back there. Two. All right. Let's love this deck. Whoa, did you see that? For my lovely Librans. Did you see that? That deck's like ready to, to like word vomit out all over the desk with the star. Aquarius energy at the bottom of the deck, focusing on you looking good, leveling up, and a guiding light for people Eight of Swords, who are stressing with a Three of Swords emptiness and in need. Ace of Cups. You are up in your head a lot right now about a love offer. King of Wands, Leo, or Cancer energy with the Ace of Cups that you feel might not be manifesting or something has gotten in the way with this Eight of Swords to a Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Maybe even something like it's that feeling after a, after a funeral and someone's transitioned and you're looking at the grave and your heart's beating, but it's just hollow inside. But like you're still here, you're still going on. And it's a light that's guiding you, much like how a lighthouse guides a ship into sea. Kind of like that end all be all or the answer. You know it's the answer and you know how to follow it, right? Yeah, six of cups. You really miss somebody and you know that it's a deep connection that goes back. This is deeper than twin flame. This is soulmate on this other side of the coin. You miss this person with a with a Prince of Pentacles, Scorpio energy on the Six of Cups, Capricorn on the Pentacles, and I'm actually hearing "Don't Ride the White Horse." Remember that song? Oh my God, "Ride the White Pony." But look at this. Look at you're starting to hear more signals from from spirit, from divine. Music is starting to talk to you more. Like you think about your person, and a song comes on the radio to give you your answers. Ten of Swords to give you your answers, a point of completion. You are really in your feels about this and you miss them with the six of cups to 10 swords. 10 swords though is a point of completion and spirit letting you know that you've passed some tests and are ready to proceed and go forward with the chariot right there. Foot on the gas, now you're gonna crash. Always on the go, can't say no, right? Coming in balance, but trying to bring the energy forward. Look at this golden freaking chariot in this deck, right? This is could be children or a distance involved in you guys. Maybe it was a relationship that spawned offline or something between you guys. Even if it's just an energetical distance, y'all could live in the same exact house together, but be so far apart, two of swords, that there's just nothing going on here. And everybody's kind of withdrawn and holding out and just trying to keep some faith of progression with this. So Cancer and Scorpio here along with Gemini. You've also got Libra, you, hi, and Capricorn. Little Taurus and Virgo off this one, but I'm pulling straight up Capricorn. Like music talks to you about stuff happening in the real world, in the real time, in the right now. 3D energy. I mean, of course, could be money, could be pentacles. 
Tower of Pentacles is like a 3D Earth energy, you know? So let's get some clarifiers onto it and see. Because with this Ten of Swords, it's something that you've dealt with, grappled with for a long time, Two of Swords, and just tried to have faith that things will work out. It's kind of like you're letting Jesus take the wheel. That's the song I hear on this one with the chariot energy. Kind of like autopilot, setting everything up just so it can go on its own, riding out the energy flow and feeling Ten of Swords like, yeah, whatever, it's what I deserve, right? Not necessarily. The Six of Cups shows that you guys go deep and you want to work because you remember the good times. The thing about time is it heals all wounds. Even if y'all living in the same house, it heals all wounds. And you start to remember the good times more and the, the things that made you happy. Two of Swords, Nine of Wands to the Hierophant and the Page of Cups. So you're seeking guidance and knowledge and looking a little further and trying to have more faith. We now have four twos, two, 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 two. And if you break that in half between you and your person, Five of Cups, the one that you're missing... That's two 11 11s. You both have made a wish. You might not even have known your person made this wish. Knight of Wands. You both have been talking to spirit, talking to the moon energy, two of swords. Wait, okay, something told me to go for it. We already pulled our clarifiers. Nine of Wands is protecting your Prince of Pentacles. Spirit's telling you when you hear that energy and like you're in your mind, Nine of Wands, and you hear a song come on, it's spirit talking to you to tell you, look, you're protected. There's people all around you, Nine of Wands. Y'all got a wall on this Prince of Pentacles energy that would make Donald Trump jealous AF right there. So the Ten of Swords is the Hierophant clarifying it. Knowing that you're at a point where mentally you cannot take any more Libra and you want you want better. You want more knowledge with this Hierophant. Taurus and Cancer energy. Taurus and Cancer could be significant people, signs or placements to you. Page of Cups on the Chariot. It's Cancerian energy that brings in a love offer that they know what they want to say, but it's small. Could be an age difference or somebody that's a little more immature, acts a little indifferent to the situations and doesn't understand to the four of wands. Did I not say you each were getting four wands? Check that out. There's your four wands out of that two, 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 two energy on the two of freaking swords showing that you're getting your wish. When spirit talks to you in this music, it's how they communicate to you that something's coming in, something's going to happen and that you'll get to that point. With this Nine of Wands, you've done this and dealt with it for a while. I see Virgo season and September season. Sagittarius is all well. Maybe something with a Sagittarius that happened during Virgo season or vice versa. Roles can be reversed, but this is still your energy. The placements could be on either side of the fence, though. But you have definitely taken some time, maybe even more so than just tarot readings. You're starting to go deeper down that well and look more into things like Law of Attraction and then astrology and placements and more of what makes the universe tick to bring this love offer in. And it's something that even thinks back onto your kids or your family if they're involved or just this younger mentality of kind of just going with the flow and letting energy guide you, you know, like the innocence that a child has, chariot energy, in that they're not kind of damaged out by the world yet to judge things. They look at things with a complete innocence, two of swords. It's like a blind faith in the universe and the energies and in what you know direction it will go and where it'll come to so you're guarded and protected and the spirit's starting to talk to you more about this connection between the two of you guys with this page of cups onto a two of swords telling you four of wands to have faith in the wish because spirit hears you and it's guidance to take you forward the signs numbers and synchronicities could actually be ringing out more to you i see gemini's here libra and aquarius are the smaller bit players on the air side of the fence heavy cancer heavy taurus honorable mentions for virgo and capricorn along with aries little sag on the side over here too all right so with that in mind let's take a look at where we're going to because you've got something good coming in but you're really worried about it eight of swords to three of swords and that King of Wands to a Six of Swords show me that you might even at some point told someone that had a twin energy to you, that you felt like they were a match and you guys got each other, but you told them Six of Swords, yeah, no, I'm walking away. I can't do this if you don't want it. You know, I've got other options, better options, and I'm not going to be one of your options. So I see something tied into that together, and it made even a spot back to about August when you met this person, okay? Not a lot of Earth energy, so there's a lot of up in your feels on your side. So I'm seeing that it'll be okay. Eight of Pentacles. There's the Earth energy and doing the work. You're here and checking this other stuff out for a reason. Right, Libra? All right, so with that in mind, let's take a look. Cutting it at Judgment to the Star. Major Arcana and that energy balancing out. So somebody walking away from that headstone they've been looking down on and grieving three data swords. Your person's energy as it comes in, you mirror each other more because... In the time you have a connection, whether it's new or whether it's old and established, you pick up each other's energies. You take 48 to 24 hour days, 48 hours worth of a day, and you start to merge them together and cram them together. And that's a lot of interaction to try to figure out, right? There's adapting 
and, and just learning each other's love language. Six of swords to judgment, right. Trying to make it work out, otherwise walking away. So they are thinking about when you laid it out, put it on the line and said, nine of cups, I'm going to go find my happiness with judgment. And they are going to start trying to figure out how to level up to that point. Because let's say even if you're in a point of no communication, they're thinking about you. We think 77,000 thoughts a day, princess of wands, and it's hitting them like electrical energy. Dude, your person is feeling like they're looking a nine volt battery every time they think about you. And it kind of whom it does that to them. Okay? Princess of wands, but they're leveling up and looking better. Maybe even if you're snooping in onto them or you're checking them out and seeing, it's not a page of swords. But you're noticing that they're still looking good and it's kind of like a two of cups. They want you. They want you. Whoever's snooping onto the other person, and it's very quite possible it's both of you, they want you. Okay? So let's take a peek. All right. Let's go. For, whoa. How, do, how does this happen? Dude, 11, 11. The 2, 2 thing that spreads out. All right. So you know what? We're going to do a four-way cut. That's the way that goes. That's the way that, oh, that's the way love goes. I remember that song. Eight of Wands, communication, more Sagittarius energy, a balance that comes in and, and working together. You know, all the energy is coming in. So I see some, they want to talk. Temperance, definitely Sagittarius energy right there. Archangel Michael shows up balanced and healed with his Eight of Wands to an Eight of Pentacles. The Eight Eight Portal, Leo energy, and something in August that may tie to a Sagittarius. They are working to find balance through the portals. They might even be checking into it. Our first big portal we have every year after the Aries Energetical New Year is the 420 portal, okay? Archer's not here, man. I got the ratings. That's sort of a thing, Libra, you know? Everybody comes knocking, wanting to know what you're doing, what you're up to. They're eight of wands communicating to me right now, being like, yeah, man, what's, what's Libra doing? I'm like, yeah, open up, man. It's Archer. I got the ratings, man. And they're like, Archer's not here, man. And it's just like, oh, right there, Queen of Cups. They love you, man. They want you. And this temperance comes in to heal them out and find them some balance, too, okay? That this is it's like a beautiful temperance card. Everybody wants to do that. So somebody's working on seeking greater knowledge, ten of wands to find the three of cups happiness. We've got eight wands, ten wands, temperance, eight pentacles. You've got Taurus. You've got heavy Sagittarius on the other side of this. Like that knowledge, the 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 traveling. There's definitely a distance because Cancer's up here with the chariot. So there's definitely distance to this that they're trying to figure out a way to communicate with you about this three of cups happiness that they want to tell you that they've walked away from the rest of it. Ten of Wands, three Sag cards, four if you count the Nine of Wands in your energy. So something about December, just it. Taylor Swift, Back to December, that is without a doubt a song about a Sagittarius. You know what I mean, right? Taylor Swift plays it out, and that's what they're doing. They're like, there's a song in their mind that they keep hearing that makes them think about you, that takes them back to those times, you know? And they are at a point that they feel like they've exhausted every option, you know? This Ten of Wands is Sagittarius trying to find the charger for their phone. Going to the drawer, they knew the charger was there where they put it, opening it, there being no charger. Now, normally, if you don't, you know, healing balance, who else would go right back to that drawer and keep pulling? I know there's a cord in here. Wonder, wait, I know there's a cord in here. Sagittarius looks, no cord. Not going to bother looking for it. I got shit to do. So I'm just going to run up to the gas station, buy a new cord. And that's the Ten of Wands of your person opens the drawer and goes, I got nothing left to give. Libra makes me happy. I have to communicate. I have to do the work. They're leveling up, going through dark nights of the soul, getting deeper into the Akashic records and seeking other knowledge to bring this stuff in. Okay. This, it's a changing of the guards as we go from Aries in the Taurus season, where like your person's just been having a fun time. It's it's Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane from the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. This is fun. And then all of a sudden, Everything transitions in the Taurus season and Buford T. Justice shows up, right? Wanting his El Diablo and a Dr. Pepper and all of a sudden he ain't messing around anymore. You don't now realize that the T and Buford T. Justice stood for Taurus, Eight of Pentacles. They are doing a lot of work to clean things up Bob Ross style, you know, fixing where they went wrong, looking deeper into themselves and their mind. This, this, this common, greatest common denominator factor of this Mercury retrograde, which is going on until May, is definitely hitting hard and influencing a lot of people, right? And your person's got you on their mind, and it's like like the Six of Wands jumps. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it easy. Easy there, bourbon. We got something going on. The world card, a whole different type of shuffle. The hanged man is like blocking me. Sorry, microphone is like right there trying to pop. The Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands. Dude, Cancer and Leo's happiness with Pisces showing up. They dream of something big time with you. And I sang Caitlin Betty's song for the chariot, Stuck Loving You. That's the song. 
stuck loving you. I hate them petty. Foot on the gas. You know they're going to crash. Self-propelled guiding chariot on your side. That's an energetical cord like Dolores Cannon talks about that keeps you guys together. The ties, the cords that bind. Right? And that brings it to a point where they see completion with you. If you would just accept their apology. If you would just hear them out. If they would take the time to just hear you out. Where'd that come from? Cross watchers. That was a message for you. Okay? That's a message for y'all. Just saying. Okay? That if you want this victory, you're, they're still dreaming about it, Libra. This is 10 cups happiness that these guys survived. They're in the lifeboat and they're, and they're floating towards home and they're so close to land, the seagulls are there. In reality, the lifeboats were a thousand miles off the coast of Nova Scotia and there were no seagulls nearby. I don't think they'd made it there. How, does, how do birds work? I have no bird training. I've always had dogs. I don't know how birds work. All right, anyways, six of wands. Meanwhile, no dogs, cats, Leo energy, six of wands. Caitlin Petty is a Libra. I will just... Okay. It, it, dude, it could literally be any sign, right? She will not tell me. She knows I'll read her. Anyway, Six of Wands, they know you're reading them too, and they see victory with you. They're just not sure how to talk about this to the point. They're not sure how to talk about it. They they just Ten of Cups all over my table, Libra. Got to clean this up. Ten of Cups. And with the star, I broke it at the star, your energy. Man, this Queen of Cups love comes your way. Heavy Sag... Leo's here, Pisces is here, Virgo, Three of Wands, they know the time's right for the Six of Wands victory, but Ten of Swords on their side, there's where you guys mirror up, 10-10 ten, ten being something for you guys, so 2-2-2 two, 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 and 10-10-10 ten, ten, ten are the signs from the angels of what's going on between you guys, because they know the time's right to start talking, this is the Knight of Swords, uh, Gemini to the no, no Aqua to Three of Wands. I see Aries and Aqua coming in off of this. Something deep about moons, placements, and signs, Libra. That this is somebody that is going through an awakening and unsure of what they've proceeded about, and they want something grounded and stable in this lifetime with you, with the world to the star, Aqua energy, Aquarian energy for an Ace of Pentacles to the Six of Swords. They're putting away like everything they can and have. They're obsessed about you. They are focusing on you. If there's pictures in the phone, they are checking them out. Ace of Swords. They're Ace of Swords and all over this Wheel of Fortune Justice with the Two of Pentacles. Spirit tells them that they're, they are just unsure of that. They think it's broke beyond repair to the Ten of Swords. It brings you guys together. And they're balancing and healing out to bring this you know, to a point that they understand Libra's point of view, their point of view, and you guys can sit down and talk about it and work this out in a perspective that brings, you know, both sides together, where one side doesn't get anything and the other side gets nothing and that. and it, It's like, well, no, okay, they want to talk about, I understand how I made you feel. This is what set me off. And then you come back and say, well, this is where that went. How can we come to terms that work something out and brings it together? And that's what puts it to a point of communication. So they're up in their feels about it. If I see little to no communication because they're reflecting. They're doing a lot of work on themselves. So what do we got for potential future outcome on this? Just pop me a couple cards. Libra, I love and appreciate you for being here as we freestyle this one through. If you love this video, love the like for me. Subscribe and share. Set that bell to all notifications. And check out my community post on Instagram for more details. We'll keep getting nosy on this, man. We ain't going to let these people get away scot-free, you know. Let's find out. Hashtag new me in 2023. Hashtag that right now. Okay. Get your temperance on to the 10 of wands. Heavy Sag. Somebody has woken up. Your person, Libra, has woken up to realize that there's something deep with you guys. Six of cups. And they're looking in and seeking the knowledge. They might even be traveling or going kind of introverted in like a little sabbatical where they just do some healing for pentacles because everything's protecting. You guys are both into a four pentacles energy. That spirit is saying, look, guys. You are protected. We've got wealth coming your way, grounded abundance, stuff in the real time with a queen of wands to a king of wands that I saw earlier. So this is a connection that could even dig into the twin flame energy with the emperor. You guys will get it your way. You're transmitting out what you want. And spirit has that Dolores Cannon energetical tie connecting the two of you to bring you back together. Two of cups, cancer energy, minor arcana Gemini that the time is right. And this is a small choice made. It's not all the intensity, all the arrows of, the lover's card with Cupid on crack, firing him off anywhere he wants, you know? This is two of cups, love. This is, you know, let's let's just let's just work this, take it together. They want to progress forward and make you offers and see how these two are peacefully like together, or loving each other, and just mind zen growing together. Does that make any sense? I hope that made sense. Apparently it made sense with strength. Leo energy shows up, and it could be a cancer Leo cusper energy out of this too. 
that you're tying back in because this is the like the only strength card I've seen. There's probably some out there. I don't know all the decks in the world, but this one has two lions on the freaking strength card. And it looks, dude, tell me it does not look like the chariot, right? So you've got heavy players on both sides of this about major arcana that levels up between like temperance, the chariot, Leo energy. So something between the Sag, the Cancer Leo connection that brings you guys together, that sun energy that makes you guys happy and the balance to come in and communicate, you know, and it's something that's being drawn in energetically on its own. That cord is being self-propelled guided and the chariots on your side. So they see the home, they see the family, all that energy with you, and they want to talk to you about it so that they can come in correct and you guys can work it out just like that. And then you proceed forward, full steam ahead and just strength, happiness that, that pushes through it. You know, you get to those energetical phases and, and you can tunnel through it like a lion could, you know, like with the cat claws dug into the carpet type thing that lets you fight out a storm, you know, like a cat that could survive a hurricane, that sort of a thing. You guys, you guys are four of wands bonded together. So it's taken a long time, but right now we are in an energetical shift that's setting out the next 20 years of your life and energies from the back 40 in the universe that we have not seen since the 1700s. So none of us have experienced it in this lifetime, at least. So you got to go deeper into your Akashic records to find out what it was like when you were in that lifetime. You know what I mean? Right. So, so go take your time. We'll wait here. Right. Oh my gosh, this was awesome and so much major arcana coming in correct for Libra, indeed. Um, so yeah, I uh, love this like for me. If this resonated and you'd like to get a little deeper, you can email me for a personal reading at archerastrology at gmail.com and we will connect, hook up, and take it from there. And be sure to set the bell to all notifications and share this channel. We go live every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs reading from Aries to Pisces with bonus readings on the soulmate and the twin flame cycles for the week ahead. So that's right. You get 14 readings here at Archer Astrology. Tell me that's not a eight of wands communication right there for you. Yeah. Love you guys very much. And remember this will indeed resonate to any and all placements within your chart that has Libra. We are FHA compliant here at Archer Astrology and we will read for any sign which desires and inquires. So until next time, Libra, make it an awesome loving one. And I love you to the moon and back. Archer out. Yeah. Chariot. Later.